We will show you a few examples of how you can use this compute in Azure to get you started. It's also possible to migrate VMs from Hyper-V or VMware to Azure using a simple VM migration tool, such as Microsoft's VM migration tool. You can do some research and use some tools to determine whether or not this is a wise decision for you. It's possible that it has nothing to do with money. Scale sets, availability sets, and managed disks can all be used to their full potential in this scenario. However, you are free to take this action. For those who have tens of thousands of virtual machines in their data center, there's an Azure migration tool that can analyze those virtual machines and provide the necessary path and tools to migrate those virtual machines to Azure. If you're looking for a solution for migrating virtual machines from one location to another, this tool can help you with that as well. That migration project is a good place to start if you're considering moving virtual machines and applications to Azure. Alternatively, you could use a Kubernetes cluster as an example. If you have three web application nodes, for example, there are a few API nodes in your system. A single cache server node may be possible. Using Kubernetes, you can manage and deploy this in a cluster using container technology as well. All Kubernetes command line tools are available to you. Docker clients can be used to do local development of your YAML file and then deploy or bring up an entire Kubernetes cluster in Azure using the Azure Kubernetes service. This is a working web application. To conclude, you may desire a globally accessible, scalable web application that can be accessed from various geographical locations. It's possible to have two instances of your web application and a Cosmos DB database in a single region, for example in North America. Using the Cosmos DB database, data can be migrated, transferred, or synced between multiple regions in a very fast and transparent manner because of its ability to perform geo-replication. Your web applications and Cosmos DB database will be replicated in a geo-redundant setup in another region, like Europe, Australia, or India. It's important to keep in mind that there are a lot of supporting services, such as networking, database, and storage, that you can use in addition to the compute options in Azure. Those are just a few examples. So we investigated a variety of Azure compute options. There are many modern options to choose from, ranging from well-known ones like web applications and virtual machines to less familiar ones like containers, the service fabric and serverless architectures. All of these solutions are cloud-based. There are a variety of ways to configure them, but they all give you the ability to start your application and identify the different scale characteristics and manage to those. They are all built to be scalable and meet demand. Microsoft's Azure Cloud isn't just about Microsoft technologies, though. If necessary, VMware virtual machines will be available to you. With JavaScript and Java applications, as well as PHP, you'll be able to use it. For any type of application you're developing, you'll be able to deploy it and manage it in a variety of compute options in the Azure Cloud.